After nine days of testimony in the Craig Rideout murder trial, we can finally show you a piece of evidence that prosecutors hope will tie the four suspects to the gruesome murder of the Penfield father of seven. I'm Deanna Dewberry. And I'm Jennifer Mobilia. On trial is the victim's estranged wife, her boyfriend, and two of the victim's sons. We want to warn you that if you're eating dinner right now, there is blood involved in this story. Rebecca LeClaire was in court for the expert witnesses, and she joins us now live outside the Hall of Justice. Well, you know, Jen, we've been waiting for the fingerprint experts and the DNA experts to show up in this case because basically the fr prosecution has only showed circumstantial evidence up till now. And remember, they need evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to convict any or all of the four suspects of murder. But take a look at the picture that the judge released a short time ago. I'm just going to bring it up on my phone here a, a second. Now, the juror, jurors have seen this already twice before today. I'm going to hold it up close. Can you see that? Zoom in. You can see this is a pair of bloody Wrangler jeans. Police say they found them in a garbage bag in the back of a trunk of a Chrysler that they found at Menden Ponds Park. And they say that car was driven to the park by Colin and Alex Rideout the day after Craig Rideout's body was found in Yates County. At the park, police also found this garbage bag in the water, and inside were drain cleaner bottles. Police say drain cleaner was poured over the victim's face. Today, jurors heard about fluid collected from that tarp. The two vials were carried into court by the prosecutor in what looked like a paint can. The defense has been questioning how police handled evidence after the suspects were arrested, especially a blood splattered box found in the victim's basement three weeks after the body turned up. Also, fingerprints on a container of Clorox wipes that this expert tied to Laura Rideout, but he admitted he had no way of knowing when that fingerprint was put there. They've connected one, they haven't connected others, and they didn't collect uh, a whole lot to begin with. All right, so of the 16 fingerprints that were collected from the murder scene, only one, or at least the jurors have only heard that one is connected to Laura Rideout. We haven't been told whose bloody jeans those were, whose blood it was, or whose DNA was on those jeans as well. But tomorrow, we're expecting two DNA experts from the Monroe County Crime Lab to be testifying. Live at the Hall of Justice, Rebecca LeClaire, News 10, NBC.